Everywhere. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's available nationally at all bookstores. North Shire Bookstore has it. Yeah. You can go online to www dot balance educational services dot com mm -hmm. and you can pick it up there right from uh, your website uh, it's also available on amazon dot com oh, it is. and barnes and noble dot com and, and all of the major books uh, how far do you go with this program I mean you you're, uh, I mean I know you guys both are based in and around yeah we this, go this from area. you know a couple of miles from the house to literally across country we travel we it's what we do we travel yeah. across country and we give seminars we work in schools with students staff and parents we do seminars you know like let's say in a hotel where people will come from different uh, schools, principals, guidance counselors, et cetera, and we share these strategies. And it's exciting for us, and I think one of the things that we get out of this, you know, Michael's a former teacher. I've worked with people with developmental disabilities. I've worked in the domestic violence field, substance abuse prevention field. We're people people. But we have a business here, which we feel good is that we're making our corner of the world hopefully a better place. We're trying to make life easier for people. So we feel real good about that. And you know, the people that we present to are basically in the same type of business. So it feels real good to do that, and uh, it's nice that we could also travel as we do that. I can't help but notice that uh, one of the co-authors of this of this book is uh, Karen Driveline. That's a right. Any relation? As it as it turns out, <laughs> Karen is my wife. Karen was extremely helpful with writing of the book, taking her uh, experience in the school system, and also from the point of view as a parent, and adding it to the book, which really rounded out the uh, the book very nicely. Does she travel with you, or is it just the two of you? That no, it's the, the two. It's the two of us. Karen. Uh, stays at home and yeah. uh, takes care of uh, the office and, and the family. Uh, and Steve and I yeah. do the traveling. And as Michael mentioned, Karen also did some work as an educator in school, so she brings that also to the to the book. Let alone being a parent for uh, eighteen years, eighteen and a half. <laughs> oh, you have teenagers. I do. I do. A sixteen-year-old and an eighteen. Have you read this book? <laughs> <laughs> this is a book on bullying, not on raising kids. <laughs> All right. All right. That's a whole different That's the show. next book. That's the next book. Uh, well, well, this is, uh, is, has been a very interesting topic. It's Thank timely you, no matter when we did this show. Um, uh, it, it's a dynamic and a phenomena that I believe has been going on since there have yes. been more than three people yeah. on this planet. Yes. And uh, it, frankly, it's, it's really about time that somebody started to address the, uh, break it down. What are the fundamentals? Why, why is this happening and, and how does this go on? Mm -hmm. uh, I have about a minute left. Uh, I understand you walked across the country. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that I, I, I like to walk. I did walk after college. I got that education. We all like to walk. No. <laughs> uh, I like to walk more better than, than others. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, you walked from where to where? I walked from New Orleans to Washington State. Uh, it took me two and a half years. I had my German Shepherd Dixie with me. Uh, this is, of course, back in the late 80s. The dog agreed to do it. Uh, I did. I gave him a choice. I said, look, you could either stay in the shelter down in New Orleans or you could walk with me. I had a little backpack for her. She came with me, it was her, and she kept following me. Although there were times at the beginning when it was 9,500 degrees, I'd turn around. She wasn't on a leash, and I would be walking down, and it was hot, you know, and I'd look around. I was like, where'd Dixie go? Where'd Dixie go? And Dixie, Dixie, and I'm yelling, and her little head, she was still kind of a puppy, would come out of this tiniest of bushes. And she says, I got a great place for shade. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I'd keep walking, and she'd follow me to Washington State. She was the 1988 National Poster Dog. It was a contest from Meaty Bones and Jerky Treats oh, for uh, sake. to show what great dogs were available in our nation's shelters. And she also, by the way, just to add, she also walked around the state of Washington with me with a man with developmental disabilities to show what people with disabilities can do. That's uh, a book that I did write and publish called Washington Walkabout. So uh, well, God guys, rest her soul, though. This is uh, it's great work. The, you guys are both doing thank great you, work. Bob. I can't thank, thank you. you enough for being on uh, Q&A Live. Um, I don't have a guest signed up for my uh, February show, but stay tuned. I'm sure that we'll find somebody uh, of equal quality. I don't know. It's going to be hard to do. Uh, we'll be back. Top this one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, you're always welcome back. Right? Thank you. As a matter Thank of fact, you. I might want to have a progress report. Sure. Thank you all for tuning in. Once again, Happy New Year. And once again, I want to thank Christo's Pizza and Phoenix Business Properties for uh, their continued sponsorship of this great show. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, guys, thanks very much for appearing Pleasure, on the Bob. show. Thank you, Bob. And uh, Happy New Year, folks. Oh, <laughs> oh,